<laughs> hey guys, it's your friend and local otaku, and I'm just uh, making a quick video this week, uh, just to round out my thoughts, because I think it was my previous video uh, that I did about the season, just didn't, uh, I mean, it was quick, it was edited really, you know, to just fit it within the time limit, because I don't like making too long videos overall, but I did not get my full thoughts, this will be the final one on like uh, the... The, what should we call it? The 20, uh, 2019 uh, uh, winter. I'm just going to give them like my rounded out thoughts for the shows I didn't really cover that well and uh, what I thought because it wasn't really over. So let's begin. Oh, yeah, and I'm also going to be mentioning uh, the spring 2019, the shows that I didn't cover. I mean, I covered the ones I will watch, but there's some that I'm very interested in that have potential. All right, so let's get, let's get to it. All right, let's begin. So the show I want to cover right now, the... That I really just just finished watching the last episode, Mob Cycle, uh, <laughs> season two, was uh, I've said this to my friends. It's a straight up masterpiece. Uh, anyone that watched the first one, it does everything a lot better in every in every sense of the word. The animation feels like it's better, even though it might not. But it's still the fights were just scaled to a unbelievable height. It was well choreographed. It's the masterpiece man that's a word you don't throw around too often i have to be very careful with and i know not everyone's gonna like when i use the word masterpiece but it's it it it, it basically is like to the people that watch it it's that good i don't even throw even shows i really like i don't throw the word the, the m word masterpiece because i know it'll, it'll treat you. but this one just it did so many good things man <laughs> bones did a studio bones did a, such an amazing job on that work man everything one punch man should be uh so moving on promise neverland was great i won't throw out masterpiece for that one don't worry uh but it ended off on a good note i like it when they give backstories to like the villain the villain of the character which she the the mother was basically the villain you know and all this but they gave her uh the humanizer in that series which i do like so it gives you more sim uh, sympathy for that that character so i really enjoyed her uh her little uh, character development at the end. Uh, the Shield Hero already said, a really fun show. Uh, it's an isekai, but it's uh, it's fun to watch, you know. Duro Duro, uh, it's 24 episodes, so I'm still watching that. Watched the last episode today, I mean, episode 12 or whatever today, and it was really well done. And yeah, it's still got another 12 more to go for this season. And Kaguya, uh, Love is War, that was, that was a good show, man. That's a, uh, few romances that are like do something different this one has a psychological element like don't think of it like it's a dark death no uh promise neverland type of psychological it's more of a because if you know the show it's about them trying to uh get each other to admit these two guys are like these two uh, people are really like genius level and they're trying to admit to the other that they like each other because they kind of already know but they don't really like say it <laughs> And that's what it's the whole show is just doing that, and it's a bunch of antics. It's uh, has a really good comedy element. I mean, all the all the characters I, I really enjoyed. It's a really fun watch. Really takes a different approach to the romance. Uh, so romance uh, category. So that's a that was this season was overall very 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 good. It's <laughs> I was always worried about like this season would not compare to the last season, fall twenty eighteen, but. Man, did it deliver. I think they were all on the same level. If not, this season was better. And the uh, shows I dropped, I already mentioned. Uh, Kaguya, I saw one episode. Uh, didn't really enjoy it. Domestic Girl uh, something. Domestic Girlfriend. Eh. Just too much drama. It's another. It's a romance, but, you know, it takes it, I guess, different. But it's has a lot of drama. I don't like... I mean, drama is fine if it's used in the correct uh, format. It's like, or if it just feels really stale, generic, you know, it might not be, but it's, it could uh, end up being, and after like three episodes, I just, yeah, it just didn't feel uh, like I was going to enjoy it too much. If you like the show, it's, it's fine. I don't blame you. I just feel like romances need to do something different, especially in this medium uh, called anime, where we can do so many different things. So this is, uh, I feel like it was just too basic for my taste. But if you liked it, like I said before, uh, anything else, uh, what's it called? The harem of the season, I'm not going to pronounce that because I can't pronounce Japanese names or titles or whatever. But uh, it was, it had a, it's, it's, at least tries different. It tries to be different, you know. 
and I think it did. It was different. People, a lot of people enjoyed it. It wasn't a bad, <laughs> it wasn't a bad harem, but uh, yeah, not my not my taste. I've kind of had my fill of harems. You know, the only ones that really like, if you want to classify it as a harem, uh, the Monogatari series, which it kind of is, but it's like I said, that one actually I think does a big twist to it. It has actually a good, good story to it. And it has a lot of like fan service and stuff, but it still does it everything right. Uh, Boogie Pop, I already said. Just <laughs> the the show is not chronicle order. It's just in all pieces of it. And I'm like, after the first episode, I was like, what? So I watched like two more, and I'm still confused. Obviously, you have to invest a lot of time to get what's going on. But uh, yeah, if, I mean, if that's what the format you like, then you're gonna enjoy this series. Trying to piece everything together yourself, but. Uh, that's not what I look for in anime. And those were really all the ones I watched. And I'm not going to mention any more. So now we move on to the spring tw- uh, spring 2019 season. And I'll, I'm just going to skip over the shows I already watched. Uh, I mean, uh, not watched, already covered. I'm going to move on to the ones that I have not covered. And uh, the ones that's uh, really interesting to me is... Uh, what is this? Blade of Demon Destruction Demon Slay. Demon Slayer. I'll put it up on the screen right here. It's uh, it had early screenings in uh March 2019th under the community. So it already broadcast. The first five episodes were previewed in a, the- in a the- theoretical screening in Japan on March 29th under the whatever title. So it already has like five episodes. Uh, people in Japan already saw, it, according to this. And yeah, it's getting good reviews on my anime list. We'll t- take that as you will. Sometimes, I mean, really well-reviewed shows you might not like just because it's not your taste or you think it's generic or whatever reason. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's by Ufotable. And like I mentioned in the video previous to this, it was... Uh, they, uh, they haven't been doing too good in terms of shows. I mean, their animation's always been good. I think they use CGI in their shows. One of the few places I welcome CGI because they blend it so well with, the, with their shows so and movies. The movies are good. I saw their last movies. Their movies are good, but uh, this is getting really well reviews. Uh, only up by like two hundred people, but it's already an eight point uh, uh, eight point three five as the recording of this video. So, uh, yeah, it's it got it's got me interested in. It. Uh, I'll put up the synopsis, or whatever. I don't like reading the whole thing because you can go sit, check it out yourself. It's not that hard. If you really need me to do that, then uh, mention it down below for the next one. Because I don't really, th- I feel like it's so easy, man, for anyone to do it. So, uh, Fairy Gone, I already mentioned before, uh, but I want to cover just a little bit more. Fairy Gone is an original, it, so it doesn't, it's not coming from manga or light novel for, as far as I know, or video games, so it's original adaptation, so that's always good. Uh, it's by PA Works, I already mentioned their animation, which is always solid, very good in, in some shows. So, uh, and uh, if you don't know what PA, PA Works have done, uh, let me remind myself too, because I sometimes forget keeping up with all these anime series. They've done Angel Beats, Another, Charlotte, uh, Nagino, Asakara, I saw that one too, Shirobaka. A lot of people like Shirobaka. That was a very good show. They have a lot of good titles in their name. Like, they're not the best, but they came out some good stuff. They have have they have, they have their, uh, they have their uh, what's the word? They have their good catalog of works, uh, the shows they they worked on. Uh, yeah, and they recently one of the movies I didn't know they were the, the movie that they worked on. Uh, when the promised flower blooms, <laughs> it was a very good movie. So uh, my uh, my hopes for this uh, series are are high, like very high. So uh, very gone. I'm really looking forward to this one. Very much looking forward to this. This is uh, this is one of those shows that caught my eyes. That I don't know if it'll be good. <laughs> for all you know, it comes out and it's dog shit. You know, don't tell me this is just what i will look and uh check out in the, in the future uh so carol and tuesday this is by studio bones and they are in my top of uh they are fighting for my number one spot between uh, kyoto animation and uh kyoto animation and yeah the bones they are both uh, madhouse used to be my favorite studio and i don't know they're free they haven't been killing it like these two uh, the recent two studios have so they're fighting for my like number one spot right now. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is a uh, but just by being by them, it's probably pretty good. It's 24 episodes, and uh, the premise is really cool because in this uh, in this time, according to the synopsis, it's like 
everything is produced by AI. So humans have like no, uh, no works. Like they don't do music. They don't do like uh, movies, music. Like most culture is produced by AI, and people are content to be passive consumers. That's what it says in Sanasi. So, but the like the girls. I think the two girls want to be musicians. So this is like, you know, every, we don't need to do that, but they, you know, they want to, and that's the thing. So it's gonna be more of a. What are they? What are they generalizing this as? Sci-fi, music, drama, romance. So, ooh, and it's Bones. They have really good animation. Uh, they worked on. I, I shouldn't even mention, but Bones is very. It's in very good studio. They worked on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, My Hero Academia, Noragami, Soul Eater, Full Metal. Ah, ugh, my bad. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist the original. Uh, Mob Cycle 100, which I you already heard masterpiece. You should check it out if you haven't seen the first season and two. It's really good. Darker Than Black. Uh, Anami Kuroto Host Club. I haven't seen that one, but everyone always says it's good. Uh, they have a lot of, like, just this studio working on it is already, like, caught my eye. So I will be probably watching that. Oh, yeah, and they're on Mars, I guess. <laughs> so I'll be checking that out for sure. Is there anything else? Is that it? Uh, I'm just double checking real quick. Oh yeah, one more that I'm hoping it's good, but I have my concerns because I, I mean I know it doesn't mean it's gonna be bad, but I tend to see most uh, ad adaptations that are turned into video games uh, that are from video games tend to be subpar good, but never like really good. Like you're like oh oh this is this is a must watch. Like they're just generally like a good series, but the, the reason why I'm a little bit uh, curious it's because it's my madhouse you know i just mentioned them earlier they're not my the good when i first watched started watching anime this is like all their madhouse like studio ones i watched no game no life uh, um, uh what's it called death note etc they, they, they were they were there man a lot of the a lot of my favorite shows and but they uh, they failed recently man i don't know how to describe it i might make a video in the future about them but uh, uh it's not like they're out too but it's, they're not where they're not where they used to be <laughs> If, if anything but they're still a top studio to watch and uh, this one i haven't even read the synopsis it's just their studio caught my it's gonna be mostly a uh uh what is it, what, what is it gonna be action adventure drama fantasy mystery all right so that's an already sounds good and they uh, i'll put the synopsis so you can read it but uh i have an expected strike between him and his feelings for the behind him and playing shadow and really bad uh, both were initially strangers but in the journey mystery so yeah, it's like a city disappeared, he survived, and a big mystery ensues. So, pretty much interested in this title. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened with the camera there, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very interested in this title. What's the, let me just check out the name. It is called, uh, English title does not have it yet. So, I don't even know the English title. It's just, she, 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 no minutesu tats, toshi. Yes. <laughs> Any other ones? Uh, those were, I think, the main ones. There's other ones that could catch my eye in the later in the series if they are doing well. I mean, there's an etchy right here. Uh, normally, people the uh, shows that rely on like really fan service or etchy or not my cup of tea. Oh, one more. I keep saying one more. Uh, I won't say this one more. Maybe others, uh, but uh, Studio Feels. Uh, they're a uh, straight up hit or miss. But this new title seems like it could be a maybe uh, a hit. So they're known for for what they call the. They recently got a third season. It's, it's a My Teen Comedy Romance. They're known for that show, which is very good. That's a hit. Kiss has Kiss Exis. Yeah, <sighs> sisters loving their brother. That's the show. <laughs> no, they're not blood related. Uh, this one is harem. They have a lot of like etchy titles to their name. A lot of harem etchy titles, and uh, which was which was in their past. But they've recently been doing a lot of better series like Hinamatsuri, Hinamatsuru, Hinamatsuri. That's how I say it. It was really one of my favorite shows of 2018. They also came out with uh, what's it called Tatsu Tatsuga Tatsuga Kari. Whatever, it's a slice of life I really enjoyed. There's very little talking in that show, to be honest, but they did such a good job. 
conveying those like emotions you've like kind of found to you. I mean to me at least and it got really good reviews so we really well reviewed so yeah but their last show was island and it was just what's the words put it gently uh, garbage <laughs> and i mean i just when i first saw it was them and uh it was uh the picture of what they were doing i was like yeah this is not gonna be a hit so this one is uh the show that they're working on uh, or gonna be airing this season uh, of spring 2019 is looking to be very very promising and I hopefully it's good because it's 26 episodes. They're gonna. They're, this is a long one. <laughs> oh, also Madhouse is another one. Uh, Diamond Ace Act Two. I have not kept up with the baseball anime, but it's by Madhouse. They've been working on their uh, their act show. Their sports anime recently. Uh, I think that's it. That's literally it. anything else that comes out is uh, hopefully surprise me. Uh, hopefully the ones I've I'm interested in do well. And hopefully this season can live up close to uh, to what was last season. This last season was very good. If you're wondering too, there's movies out. Uh, the Bunny Girl Senpai coming out on January 15, 2019. It's coming out. The That's the main one. Uh, there's other ones too. Uh, Kyo Animation is coming out with Euphodible, Euphodium, the movie. Three. They have two other ones. Well, I gotta check them out. Uh, so there are some good movies coming out this, uh, but yeah, you never know. There's a, the, uh, there's a surprises. That's what I'm always looking forward to. Cause I already know what I like and already what I want to probably watch. Yeah. As I stated before, but the, uh, there's always those shows that come out and you're just like, Whoa, this came out of left field. This is pretty good. So that's, that's what I'm actually looking forward to the most. What will this season entail? Uh, tell me your thoughts on the uh, winter before I leave to, Winter 2019 was fucking amazing. Uh, spring 2019 is looking to be very good. Will it do as good as that? I don't, I don't know. But it's, uh, it feels like we're almost in a little bit of a, a good time. So a lot of people mentioned uh, 20... Uh, what's the word? What, is, what, are the, what was it? Like 2006 and 2007, I think, were the years. Between like just a lot of big shows coming out. Like Death Note. Uh, I think Girl and Login. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Cold Geass, those are just some of the few that came out those years. And I feel like we're in a little bit of this time zone where a lot of big hitters are coming out this year too. At least for me, like I said, everyone has different eras, their favorite of, you know, it's all it's all taste, man. It's all taste, so don't take it. I'm not stating that it's better. I'm just stating, as previously mentioned, Mob Psycho, it's a very good show. I mean, sometimes you just got to recognize it's a good show. It's just not your taste. But some people feel like you have to... You have to you hate on it because you don't like it. You know, you're not part of the group. You know, humans want to be part of everything. That's just how we are. But uh, when you're not part of something, you feel left out. So, you know, what do you, what do, you do? <laughs> you criticize it. Try to put it down so other people don't check it out because you won't relate to it. You won't like it. So that's just my little rant on that. Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but, yeah, tell me what you think about uh, the 2019 uh, spring season. What are you looking forward to? Well, One Punch Man, I know a lot of people have that on radar. It's on mine too. Uh, yeah, if you like the video, <laughs> uh, yeah, you just, just keep watching my other videos, please. Please. All right, I'm out. Bye.